Hello friends, today we're going to see about the laryngeal mask airway. From this video, you'll know. What is LMA? Types of LMA different sizes of LMA. Method of using LMA. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Laryngeal mask airway which is commonly known as LMA. It is one of the supraglottic airway devices. This supraglottic airway device is placed above the glottis for airway management. It is used to maintain a patient's airway during anesthesia or resuscitation. Next, we'll see about the types of LMA. There are several types of LMAs available, each with unique features and indications. Let's see them one by one. Standard LMA. Which is also known as classic LMA. It is the most commonly used type of LMA. It consists of a silicon or polyvinyl chloride PVC, tube with an inflatable cuff that sits in the pharynx and forms a seal around the larynx. LMA Unique. This is a disposable LMA for single use, primarily due to its design features and material composition. The cuff of the LMA Unique is made of a thermoplastic elastomer material that is not suitable for repeated use, as it can become distorted and lose its shape after a single use. That's why unique LMAs are suggested for single use. Flexible LMA. As the name suggests this LMA is flexible and non-kinable due to wire embedded reinforced tube. So it can be used in head and neck surgeries. Intubating LMA. By using this type of LMA, we can able to insert an endotracheal tube up to size 8 without any manipulation of the head and neck during placement. Usually, endotracheal intubation is performed in the sniffing position, head extension and neck flexion. But while using intubating LMA we can able to intubate without altering the position of the head and neck. Proceal LMA Proceal LMA has a large posterior cuff which provides a better seal. It also has an additional tube which is communicated with the upper esophageal sphincter. So it can be used to deflate the stomach. Supreme LMA Supreme LMA looks similar to Proceal LMA. The only difference is it has a bite block. This prevents damage to the tube if the patient bites the tube. LMActric. It is a device that combines the features of an LMA with those of a video laryngoscope. It allows real-time visualization of the airway structures, including the vocal cords, during intubation. IGEL. Unlike other types of LMA, it has a gel-like, non-inflatable cuff, and provides an effective seal. Next, we'll see the different sizes of LMA. The LMA comes in 8 different sizes, successful insertion requires appropriate size selection. LMA sizes are based on patient weight, and each manufacturer has its size chart. Typically, the size chart will suggest a range of LMA sizes for a given weight range. Choose the size that corresponds to the patient's weight and the suggested size range. Method of using LMA Preparation, ensure that the patient is properly positioned and adequately pre-oxygenated. Also, ensure that all necessary equipment and medications are readily available. Selection of appropriate LMA size, select the appropriate LMA size according to the patient's weight and airway anatomy. Insertion of LMA, lubricate the posterior aspect of the LMA cuff with a water-based lubricant. With the patient's head in the neutral position, insert the LMA with the aperture facing the patient's feet. Advance the LMA gently until the base of the cuff is aligned with the upper incisors. Inflation of the cuff, inflate the cuff of the LMA with the recommended volume of air, as indicated by the manufacturer. Use a cuff pressure gauge to ensure that the cuff pressure is within the recommended range. Confirm placement, confirm proper placement of the LMA by observing chest rise and fall listening for breath sounds, 
and checking for air leaks. Also, confirm that the patient is adequately ventilated by checking and tidal CO2, pulse oximetry, and vital signs. Secure the LMA. Once proper placement is confirmed, secure the LMA in place by using tape or LMA holder. This will help to prevent accidental displacement of the LMA during the procedure. Monitor the patient. Continuously monitor the patient's airway and vital signs throughout the procedure. If any airway obstruction or leakage is observed, adjust the position or size of the LMA as necessary. Removal of the LMA. Once the procedure is complete and the patient is fully awake and able to protect their airway, remove the LMA gently and slowly while holding the cuff in place to prevent trauma or aspiration. Okay, friends, that's all about today. I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.